guys, uh, today we're going to do the 1.5 summary. Um, so yeah, let's do this. So guys, to start with, um, on this 1.5 update, I have John here with me and he's basically just building this place for me uh, because I'm lazy. But yeah, to start with, these are stacked entities. Uh, as far as we know, every entity stacks using MC Edit. Uh, so yeah, these are stacked cows, one in, on, on top of each other. So John, uh, this is our nether place, yeah? Yeah. With new blocks. So do you want to go through the new blocks with us then? There's the lovely nether quartz right here. Mm. Very nice. So yeah, that this is ore. Does this only come in the nether then? Only in the nether. Okay. And this can be made in stairs and... Uh, if you look in this chest here... Yeah. You can see that if you smell, this might be my little furnace, if you smell nether rock, you get nether brick. Of course, you get these nether quartz things here in this chest beside it. Okay. And four so, of those make so a block. smelt it, it goes into quartz. And then a block of quartz crafted like that. Okay. And That's there awesome. are some crafts. And just make it like any other block, make the slabs out just normally. Yeah. Ex the pillar okay. ones are two blocks. And the chiseled ones are two slabs. Right, John. Next is the dispensers and the dropper. So I would like yeah. you to stand right here. Just just here, right that. Yeah. And if I push this button, should be getting some armor. So that's what the new dispensers do for the 1.5 update for Minecraft. It puts armor on you. Well, yeah, it dispenses stuff on you. Um, and this, the dropper, is just basically the old dispenser. It just, it just does stuff like that. Also, guys, with the uh, the dispenser, you can now dispense like TNT onto the ground, and it sets it alight now. Um, so exactly like this. Uh, this is right near the rails, John. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It it kind of broke your signs there. Well, that too so yeah, it does that now, um, which is awesome, and you can now put them upside down. Right, also with the, the uh, new dispensers, you could actually dispense bone meal. Uh, so yeah, it goes that, and it kind of sparkles a little. So one, that's two, that's three. Um, they did do it in seven stages, but because, you know, that's the original way wheat works, but they just realized that it was too long and boring and I just could not be bothered doing that. So they made it into three stages just for me. So next is the hopper. Uh, you make the hopper with one, two, three, four, five iron in a way like that in your inventory and yeah, you get the hopper like this. Uh, you use the hopper for many things for basically it's it's like a funnel and it funnels stuff into chests like mine carts and well you know other stuff so John uh, can you please step on this plank of wood right here gotcha. right, basically what this is John this is a one in three chance of getting this right or wrong but the trick is the right actually explodes this whole world so technically you have a two and three chance, but yeah, just pick a chest, any chest. It's not opening. It's because you put the block on, on top, John. It's because you put the block on top there. And but there. That one didn't do it, so I'm safe. This one. Hmm. 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 Oh my, oh. Okay, that was bigger and worse than the first time we tried that, John. I didn't actually mean to blow up half your world. I do apologize. <laughs> right, so of course that was a trap chest. Um... Basically, how to make that is just a tripwire and a chest, as simple as that. And it, it's when you open it, it boosts out a single redstone power. Um, so you will have to boost that signal. 
further if you want to do extra things with it. So John, please um, explain what's all this railway about. Well, with the new hoppers as you demonstrated earlier, you can now put them into minecarts. Which if you have a look in this chest it shows the crafting recipe. Minecart with hopper. But also there is TNT minecarts. And TNT minecarts are pretty self explanatory over by Rob or Snapper over there. There is a different rail. That is the new activator rail. Yeah. And when a minecart gets pushed over it, um, you want to start running. Uh yeah. Oh my. So, Whoa, yeah. that is cool. And it doesn't actually blow up any of the rails. Or the blocks the rails are on. Oh, that's really good then. So you could use you could use that for effect on adventure maps then. Yep, a lot of this redstone will be very useful for adventure maps. Nice. Right, next. Right guys, now there's new stuff in your inventory. The brewing is all organized and if you get a stack of stuff and you drag it and then you right click, it spreads it around your inventory. So it's pretty buggy, you don't get everything back after it, um, which is a bug. But yeah, it could be pretty handy once it's fixed and everything like that. So yeah, that's the inventory stuff. Right, also there's new redstone blocks. Um, you make it like that, just like a normal block with anything really and it boosts out a redstone signal as well now this little new thing is a daylight sensor uh, basically it boosts out a redstone signal when well there's sunshine uh, there's different settings at it and if it's like this if I change the time rapidly you'll see the redstone signal going down hopefully yeah there we go so the redstone signal goes all the way down because there's no sun getting to it so this is how you make it it's three glass three quartz and three uh, wooden slabs so yeah next now there's new pressure plates but these ones are called uh, weighted pressure plates and basically how this works is you put an item on it and what should happen is the more items you put on the larger the redstone signal it creates so as you see it it increases the more as the more items I put on here until that happens and uh, this happens as well but you have to put absolute loads of blocks on for it to increase and it's just annoying to do so yeah so there we go now John Next is some zombie time. Are you scared? Maybe. You should be. Now, obviously a zombie sets a light at daytime. Oh, uh -huh. oh, you now oh, go on fire. Uh, 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 I'm not going to help you. In fact, uh. I'm going to help him. Right, John, can you please describe all this scene? Well, these were in the 1.3 update. These are command blocks. Yeah. And before, you couldn't name them. Now... You can name command blocks. Imagine. Right, so before it would be like this. At high. That is the slash say hi command. It would say at. Now I can do this. Yeah. That is clever. So guys, last of all, you're now able to name entities or mobs. And basically I called my own villager Bob. So yeah. Say hi, Bob. 